Hello everybody and welcome to another theory video and today we're going to be talking about something that has been stirring up in the community recently regarding Brooklyn, one of the characters from Camp Cretaceous, and the theory that she may actually be a member of Manticore. Personally, I do not think it's going to happen because of, um, it doesn't really seem to be where her character is going as like her story arc, but if it were to happen, I would say it's very interesting. And I'm going to talk about, um, but for this and the sake of the video, I'm going to talk about some reasons why I think that she may be an agent, as well as adding in the little theories of why people think she is. And we're going to talk about a theory that I was planning on doing for a future video, which may or may not happen now that this video is being done. And that is that she is an orphan. And now my my theory on her being an orphan is going to be added with her being like she lives with Manticore or somebody who like works for Manticore. And the reason why I think she may actually be revealed to be an orphan or something or have no family is because of um, some of the events that happened in season two of Camp Cretaceous, at least early on. And during, for example, during episode one, when the kids make it to Main Street and find a cutout of Brooklyn herself, Darius makes a comment of how her parents will be super happy to see her when they all get home. And after this comment, she seems to be like shocked and also um, ends up going very quiet, at least for a little while, and doesn't seem to want to continue talking about it. Similar to how she, everybody acted with when Ben was dead, every, nobody wanted to really talk about it. She had that same sort of attitude, and it's it made it got me thinking: Does she even have a family to go back to? Which will be really. It'll be a dark turn for the show, but with it, the um, age rating actually going up for season three, and it may just be for the Scorpius Rex, but I think it may also be for a bigger um, story, which would be very interesting. And it, that's not the only hint of her being an orphan. There's also the um, time when Brooklyn, Yaz, and Sammy go to Dr. Wu's lab, Brooklyn informs them that she's never been to school and does online classes and doesn't really understand people, which sadly are some um, things that are known with orphan children. Not always, and I'm not trying to um, start a topic about how orphans are bad or anything or don't get all the needs. A lot of them do, but... In some cases, that's something that happens. And a lot of shows usually do it in that way, where orphans are dark and all that stuff, which is unfortunate. And those two things are leading me to think that maybe she is an... If she is an orphan, then who is she orphaned by? Maybe Manticore, maybe somebody who works for there, and then they used her to infiltrate. Now, this, th this theory... um. The reasons why it may work are because, like, she has nowhere to go, so, like, she has no choice in the matter. Similar to how Sammy's, like, she's doing it for her family. It could be the same for Brooklyn, because Brooklyn's family is Manticore, so she would do it for them. But honestly, I still don't think that it works. Another reason why that people are saying that Brooklyn will be working for Manticore is um her um is one scene in season one where she den denies her um involvement in dr Wu's lab because we know that she um broke into the lab to look at stuff and from what we've seen it's because she wanted to get more famous on youtube or whatever platform she's using and but some people have theorized that if that was her reason, why didn't she say it when Darius asked her about it? Why would she say it doesn't, why would she not say the truth? 
and that's a very interesting point, but I don't think that it really is, because if, as, yes, yeah, she would realistically tell, but maybe she's just um, trying to keep it from be, being in trouble from the kids for just sneaking in just because she wants to be famous. But other than that, there aren't many reasons why that Brooklyn could realistically be an agent of Mont um, Manticore. But either way, it would still be really interesting to see her. I honestly think if she isn't, an, if she was to be um, a member of a group, I would prefer her to be part of Biosyn because it would actually kind of fit her character a bit more. The reason why is because of her not um, trying to protect um, Sammy's secret of working with them. Because if she um, also worked for Manticore, there would, her actions against um, Sammy in season one would not make any sense. Because if Sammy's exposed, then maybe she would be exposed as well. But if she's a, a, a member of Biosyn, then she would want to expose the opposing company, that way getting her free to continue. Though honestly, I don't think it's going to happen, but if it, like I said, if it does, it'll be really exciting to see. But anyway guys, what do you think of this theory? Do you think that Brooklyn has a chance to to be um, a member of um, Manticore, or do you think it's just not going to happen? Leave in the comments your um, opinion and maybe a reason why. I'd love to he hear them. And also guys, I'd love to, I do wanna say thank you to all the support that my previous um, theory video got revolving around the Scorpius Rex and Dr. Henry Wu. I'll provide a link of it in the description, of course. And um, I wanna say thank you to it because it has become my most successful videos on the channel with it having over 2000 views currently which is insane and it's got it's increased my channel's success by a whole lot and i just want to say thank you thank you and i hope you enjoy this theory video and if you've enjoyed this theory i'd appreciate the like and if you haven't already and you want to join the hunt hit the subscribe button be safe until the next theory i'll see you later Bye bye